Okay, I'm going to be cleaning up today from video number two. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. It's where I slowed the water volume down considerably to try and increase recovery of minus 40 to minus 200 flower gold. I had a Cali sluice come in, bucket sluice come in over the weekend, and it's recirculating here with a small auto feeder. I'm just dialing it in right now to see how it works. I got a really slow drip going. And while that's happening, I'm going to be classifying uh, material. I seem to be capturing most of the gold here in the first little sunken ripple, which is excellent. And it's just working away. So let's go classify and see how the moss and the gold hog mat did with slower water volume as we continue to fine tune this. Okay, as we classify here, you can see this is the gold hog material. I've uh, marked it off. It's about a fifth of a bucket and here's my moss material it's almost half considerably more sands in it I'm going to be using a minus 20 and a minus 70 classifier and I'll be processing uh, both those concentrates individually down the Cali sluice But it's still uh, doing some test runs here on the Cali Sluice. Really, really happy with my little auto feeder set up. It's setting up great for this next uh, process run. So just to recap, if you weren't with us before, we have uh, gold hog material that was run at about four or five thousandths of gallon, gallons an hour at about a two and a half to three inch pitch, a little bit slower than last time. And then here's the uh, traditional miner's moss that was run at about one and a half uh, degrees of pitch per foot through a set of three quarter inch expanded and Hungarian riffles. So there's almost twice as many uh, large rocks that came out of the, the 20, minus 20 screen, but none of these rocks are bigger than uh, a quarter inch because that's what I'm classifying through into my high banker. But there you go, there's quite a quite a big difference and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run these down the Cali sluice once my uh, setup tests finish up there just to see if I do have anything bigger but I'm really not anticipating anything uh, in these concentrates I'm gonna run a little bit of this uh, plus 20 minus quarter inch I didn't find anything in all that black sand other than black sand so let's just drop it in here blast it through you can to lose something big although my head's not very high it just peels right off real nice well it looks like nothing in here but rocks so let's go process some uh, flower gold see how we do okay all set up here these are our minus 70 gold hog cons and I'm gonna put them into this small auto feeder and then circulate them down So I slowed the recovery down a little bit because some of the gold was going a little too far. But I do plan on rerunning all these cons once I've finished uh, this batch. So it's looking good so far. Got uh, about that much of the minus 70 material to go. And I uh, can't say enough about this California bucket sluice. It's just awesome. So you can see the gold just piling up in the hopper here before it enters the Cali sluice. Really nice and uh, it's starting to add up here so definitely got some good recovery out of that gold hog batch below minus 70. Lots of minus 100 in there, minus 150. It's looking good so far. So while that minus 70 dip drips away, here's everything below minus 20 so quite a considerable a bit more and this is still chugging away quite nicely so we'll let it run out. Continues to clean up nicely. Gold going down to the fourth and fifth riffle. So a little cleanup pan here that we'll complete later of the minus 70 material and now I'm starting to run the bigger stuff uh, below minus 20 above minus 70. 
picked up the water speed a little bit. Okay, so while I wait for the last of that to clean out, I'm gonna be doing one more test where I'm gonna insert some half inch expanded metal underneath my existing uh, riffle and expanded metal tray. So there's three quarter inch there, there's Hungarians there, and then on t under this I'll be putting the half inch expanded and uh, that'll go on top of both hog mats and miner's moss. And I'm almost done. The hog mat mix. Okay, just gonna do a quick run of the hog mat material down the miller table. I got it right here. And I'm using a plastic spoon this time. Because last time I scratched all this up and I had to repaint it. There's all gold hog. Got it coming down the table. Lots of small gold on there. Look at that, boy. I'm pretty good. Starts with minus. I got it. So here you have it. All the finished gold from the gold hog dig, not a single piece bigger than minus 20. Nice looking stuff. Final product, all cleaned up now. Looking pretty sharp. Not bad. Not sure how much weighs. My scales are still in the mail. Alright, let's go process the Nomad. Okay, we're getting, getting into the Getting into the matte product now. And I refer to product as the gold. And check out when I start to sweep with just my garden hose. There's so much fine gold in here. It's just awesome. I can start to move it down through my auto feeder here. And it's just starting to pack up in here. Absolutely awesome. If uh, early indication is any result, it's definitely pulling ahead again today. Okay, what's really nice to see is I think I learned how to operate this bucket sluice. I don't have any gold really migrating past the fourth or fifth ripple now, so I'm very happy with that. And uh, I'm gonna have to start talking about in my last few minutes here why I think uh, the moss is gonna do better on this second test run. I still got quite a bit to go, and I haven't even started the uh, plus minus 70 uh, material yet. Trying to make some assessments, slowing the water from 8,000 to 4 to 5,000 here has uh, made a big difference in my recovery. I know I'm going to see it when I produce the finished pans. I can see it piling up here in my feeder tray. So, the other thing that I'm learning just by this little Cali bucket sluice is active exchange. And I think one of the reasons I'm just having too much slope and too much water flow for the, the hog mats. Um, for this type of flower gold recovery. It's just uh, putting it back into the slurry and out the end of the sluice. It's not any more complicated than that. I'm going to continue to make modifications and uh, I want to try another setup where I don't have as much velocity with the hog mat. Maybe only run it one, one and a half inches. See how that performs under the existing riffle tray. And then also try it with um, some half inch expanded metal on top of it for again both setups um, and see how how that performs I think I'll do you know again quite well and very keen to see on on what happens here with this recovery so by slowing the water from 8,000 to 4 to 5,000 on the miners moss I'm almost doubling my recovery I'm really able to see the gold stripping away from the top of this auto feeder I had to shoot some more of it and I'm, I'm really, really pleased with the success of slowing my water down in my high banker. And I'll be continuing to modify uh, from there. Nice and slow in the Cali sluice now. There's just so much fine, fine flower gold. It's piling up. I can't wait to sort it. 
So, expanded metal, next try, uh, less velocity in the hog mats coming up. See how that uh, changes this exclusive minus 40 recovery of uh, gold here. One thing's for sure is I don't want to have to get a degree from MIT to operate either one of these setups. I'm putting quite a bit of effort in to dial in my custom high banker. Everybody else's setup is different. I really encourage everybody to explore different potentials with their regional golds. That's my word for the day is your regional gold. How is it performing against other setups within your own manufactured applications? Just got this wall of gold building up. Okay, I'm going to wash that wall of gold into the bucket sluice. Let's see if we can see it walk down. Make sure if you're watching these cleanups to check out my videos one and two for how this material was gathered pretty important to the whole concept. Okay, this is all minus 70. I'm about to shut her down and start processing everything that's above that and below 20. Moving into the bigger stuff now, and one thing that's uh, really good for me is learning about how this is actively exchanging out of a very similar riffle system than hog mats, and uh, I think that's why I'm losing all my gold, so I'm gonna have to temper the slope for flower gold recovery, piece of cake. Take it in one step at a time. So there is lots of bigger gold in my plus 70 material, but there's also a lot of mid-range and even fine gold. I think it just didn't classify it well enough, but uh, that's okay. I get the ultra-fine stuff and whatever doesn't make it through, I'll get it on the next second round. And then I'll do the bucket again last with everything just to see if I miss stuff. I added a 90 degree corner to take out some of the air from this being kinked. It's working a lot better. I've also changed to a wider spaced uh, and a little bit deeper matting in the cleanup sluice. I was losing too much. Uh, I've reprocessed all of it now and I'm just picking up a tremendous amount more. You can see it in here as I, I move up. So I'll definitely have to also switch to the half inch expanded metal in my main sluice. Uh, I'm just throwing too much of this particle gold back up into the slurry. Learning a lot. Let's see how it keeps going. Here's with everything stopped. I actually think the uh, hog mat might make a pretty damn good cleanup mat. And this is the result of the moss matting cleanup. Not too bad. I'm just going to finish off at my desk here since I ran out of video. The results indicate that I almost doubled to tripled my gold recovery in the uh, moss run at the very end here just by slowing my water down and reducing my velocity. So my next run, I'm definitely going to uh, be running slower water, less velocity in my next setup and I really believe getting those Hungarian ruffles out and putting in some half inch expanded metal is also going to make a difference. Um, I hope to see again good improvements with both and I again encourage everybody to uh, test the regional gold in different setups. I've gone from almost 0.15 where I was running 8,000 gallons an hour up to 0.4 so with these next modifications I I'm hoping to go to at least uh, you know almost a gram per per dig out I mean that's my my goal thanks for watching and check out South Yuba Mining He's really been helpful in selling me some riffle trays to go through my little personal hobby here. It's greatly appreciated.